Hi guys, welcome to um, another video. Um, I'm just going to do a real brief one on how to find fair value uh, when trying to ascertain whether you can should put a bet on or not. This is just a real simple example of how I would try and calculate fair value or give you just a starting point. We're going to look at this game here, Leicester v Liverpool, which is um, due to take place at Anfield on the 30th of Jan 2019. I'm just going to try and plug some stats in and see if the bookmakers odds, I've just copied the Betfair odds here, whether they stack up to what we think in the stats and how you can try and get an idea of how things work. So we're going to have a quick look at basically Liverpool first. We're going to see how many games they've played at home, just as a starting point. So it tells us they've played 11. And then we're going to look at, I'll explain the numbers on the right in a minute, but first we're going to do the count. We're going to count how many games they've, they've won at home. Time results equal to H. If you're not familiar with Excel formulas, I can always post them up and help you out with those, not a problem. And then count if I want to see how many they've drawn to the home team again. It's Liverpool. And if the full time result was a draw. Um, and that's given us the percentages now for those two. And then we look at the away teams if they've been if they've had any losses at home. I actually know for a fact they haven't, but we've got to do the numbers anyway, because otherwise the calculations will all be a bit skew if so where the away teams won the game. Zero time. So you can see the percentages there. Liverpool win at home 90% of the time this season. They've drawn 9% of the time, and they've lost 0% of the time. Um, we're going to now look at Leicester's statistics away from home only. You could do all of their games, but... I prefer just to look at their away form. I think it differs slightly. So I'm saying where the team equals Leicester. That's the count. They've played 12 games away from home. We're going to look at how many times in those away games the home teams won. So that's basically where Leicester have lost the game. So again, Leicester. And where the full-time result is the home team. They've lost five. I'm going to look at how many times they have drawn the game. The full time result is a draw. And then we're going to look at where they actually won away from home. And the full time result was an away win. So Leicester, uh, they've won 41% of their away, so they've lost 41% of their away games, they've drawn 17%, and they've won 41% of their away games, a bit of a mixed bag for them. So if you're going to do a fair value calculation, you've got two sets of stats here. You've got the home team win, and you've got the away team wins. Now you could just go off the home team if you like, and if you wanted to do that, you'd say sum one divided by Liverpool's home win percentage, and that will give you, sorry about that. Cells number that give you odds of 1.1. And div error there because Liverpool haven't actually lost um, lost any games at home. Just going to correct that real quick so it doesn't look as messy. 1.1, 11. Cool. So they're the odds that you would expect, maybe fair value odds, if you just looked at Liverpool's home form, for example. I'm going to drag that down now so we can look at Leicester's. So if you were just looking at Leicester's away form, they should be priced 2.4 um, for the home win, Liverpool, 6 for the draw, and 2.4 for a Leicester win. But we know that then that's not likely because they're playing a really good side in Liverpool. So one of the ways you could weight it is just simply to add the percentages together. It's not the most scientific or mathematical, but just gives an idea of how you can play with statistics. So that's given us a percentage there. So I'm going to have to do some, a little bit of trickery. Some 1 divided by that. So 38%. So in this instance it's saying the home win which should be 0.66%. I've done that calculation there. Right, let's try that again. Sorry. Right, sum that divided by 2 which gives us a percent which is fine. Let's change that into percentage. 66%. 
and let's find the odds equals 1 divided by that 1.5 okay sorry about that a bit messy so what I did there was I combined the two percentages and then just divided them by two um, again not the most scientific and then this comes out at 1.5 1 for a home win 7.76 for a draw and 4.8 for an away win um, and then we compare that to this line here which is the actual odds you can see that maybe with this calculation in mind um, the book makes have slightly um, got a bit too hard on Liverpool in terms of backing them for the draw so backing for the win the draw seems well placed around about the same um, and the away win just seems a bit a bit too wide 16.5 to 1 maybe should be a bit less but everyone has their own way of finding fair value this video is really just about trying to find a calculation um, and showing you the actual format of how you go about calculating it based on percentages i hope you found it useful